Hi, I'm Ima, and welcome back to one of my DIY videos. In today's video, I'm going to give you ideas on how to add a plug to your outdoor light or camera. Usually, outdoor lights or cameras are connected to junction boxes. So, for example, our light back there is connected directly to a junction box that we had pre-installed. And for the security, and sometimes for a security camera like this one, uh, if you're building a new house, you might have holes already pre-drilled so that you can loop it to the junction box. But let's say that you want to install a light and it's not already there's not already holes for you to loop wires through, or there's no convenient way for you to actually get your uh, light or camera wired directly to the junction box. Sorry for the noise. This is our predicament. We want to install this light up there. If we want to install it, we, we, need, we either need to drill directly into the wall and then loop the wires through, or loop the wires through a pipe that goes around the house. And that's going to take a lot of time. Either method we do will take a lot of time. And instead what we want to do is we want to connect it to a plug and just plug it in right here in an out in this outlet. So that's what this video is for. Alright so for this method very simple all you need is a junction box, a cable connector or adapter, and lastly an outdoor plug. You want to make sure for our demonstration, we're just using an old computer cable. As you can see, we've just cut it off. But make sure that you use a cable that's meant for outdoor use. It's very important that you make sure that these are watertight because these are going to be used outdoor, which is why it's important to get this connector. Here's a description of it. This is going to be allow this is going to allow you to make it so that it's a watertight connection. Um, for example, you might also use this one. This one is not watertight. Use metal clamps, so don't use these. And if you get a junction box. If you get a junction box like this with holes, then you'd have to put these um, these covers on them to make them watertight. So I would recommend really getting a junction box that is already um, covered, the holes are already covered, and all you have to do is drill to open them up. All right, so obviously, disclaimer, I'm not an electrician, so make sure that when you do this, you do it by the books, make sure that you check electrical codes. I mean, some, some electricians, some city codes might frown upon it. So just make sure you're doing everything safely and correctly. There's a reason that electrical codes exist. Now moving on to the method. So make sure uh, that you have a drill and that the drill is bigger than the cable so that you can obviously loop it through. And then you want to take your cable, your outdoor cable. In our case, we're going to use this uh, extension cord right here. But let's say that we're using this for the demonstration. You want to first cut it open so that you can expose the wires. And then you want to strip the wires so that obviously we can reroute them. So let's. Let's strip this one. All right, and do it for all three wires. Okay. And there we go. You're also going to need um, wire connectors, like these ones. I recommend these ones. They're much better than the, uh, the twist cap ones, um, and they're much more straightforward to use. All right, so for the connector, Here's the components of it. There are three pieces. There is the actual one of the threads. There is this cap right here. And then there's this clamp piece that goes into the cap. So first you want to take the cap, loop it through around the cable. Then you want to take the clamp, loop it through second. And we're going to leave that there for now. We're going to take a look at the junction box. You want to drill a hole, make sure it's centered, uh, where we're, doing, we're, doing, we're then going to put the connector where it's going to accept the cable. So even though we have a hole drilled, I guess I'll drill another one since we have two holes to, two lights to install. Or actually I'll just demonstrate on this hole right here. So you want to put it with an advice, then simply drill a hole. Trusty Dewalt drill. Uh, <laughs> and then you can take that out. And now you can see it's, uh, well it's not totally centered. Uh, well, my dad drilled this hole, so. Um, all you, what you want to do now is you want to take the um, connector, insert it. As tight as possible. And then you want to take your cable. Then you want to loop the wires through. And this is going to be a bit hard, so it's better that you make it centered. And 
then you want to pull those as far as you can to give you enough leeway. And then next we're going to take the clamp, push it in, and then we're going to screw in the cap and that should allow the clamp to actually activate and grab around the cable. And so now all you need to do is take the connectors and then connect corresponding colors. <laughs> Thankfully, there's only one colored wire because if there was a red and green wire, I would fail. So make sure you look at the back. You can twist them for good measure. And then insert them. Take a look at the back just to make sure that they're all the way. And then same on this side. And then you can snap them in place. Uh, and something my dad likes to do is to wrap tape around these connectors because you know there's a chance of them accidentally popping out. So he likes putting color-coded tape just for good measure. And then you want to do that with all three wires. And to make it easier, you can do it one at a time. <laughs> okay. Uh, and also make sure you pull it to make sure that it can't get loose. And that's, that's especially a concern of the smaller, thinner wires. Uh, right here. And oddly, we don't have black electrical tape. Well, we'll do that later. Well, we'll get the tape later. And then lastly, the white wire. Twist it for good measure. And insert it. Okay. All right, so next we're going to plug it in to make sure it works. Oh, the light turned on. And right here we have this pen to test if there is current running through and it's live. All right, so there we go, easy as pie. And um, of course, to make sure that this is um, watertight, uh, this right here is supposed to um, go inside of this. Now, some lights like that one over there, they're four inch, so they can go straight onto the junction box. But this one is a bit bigger, it's about five inches. So it's recommended, no, it's kind of required that you make sure that there is a seal. So uh, for us, we could use this box, um, make sure you can loop it through, um, and then uh, cut it out so that it creates that seal, or we could use, um, I think, our method is we're probably going to take some plastic, cut it out, and put it on. But they also do make gaskets that you can uh, insert to make it watertight. So you have many options. Yeah, I apologize. That frisbee was a bit informal, but <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. They have a sort of... Um, well, this is not what I was thinking of when I said gasket, but they do have covers that you can place onto the back of the light in order to provide that water tightness. I guess you could make it improved by like adding tape around it. It's very important to make sure that this is watertight. But anyway, next step is you want to take this bracket, you want to install it. So we can speed that up as I install this. Um, okay, I'll use the drill. Also, uh, make sure that you put the gasket on before you wire everything so that you can actually move it through. Okay. And then you want to take an extra long screw, loop this through. We're going to tuck these into the junction box, tuck the wires in. I'd be more precise, but just to speed it up for the video, you want to take the screw, loop it through, 
and then push it through the gasket. Make sure that gasket is centered. And then you want to screw it in. Okay. So first I'm going to do it by hand. Well, I think I don't need a, I don't, yeah, I don't need a drum. And then you want to tighten it. And make sure that all the wires are tucked into the junction box. Now, I'm just going to speed that up for the video. Alright, so now that the modification is complete, we can both mount the light and plug it into an outlet. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to convert it. Uh, we're going to convert this wire for use with this light. And then we're going to plug it in at that side. And then we're going to take a video and we can show you what exactly it looks like. Alright, so I take that back. It's a bit confusing. Originally, we were going to use this, uh, we were going to cut this and use it for the wire, or the cable instead. But because these are flat, they're not going to be watertight when they go through this cable connector. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use this as an extension cable, or extension cord. Uh, plug this in, wrap it with a ton of saran wrap, uh, a ton of shrink wrap, and then that makes it waterproof. Of course, the most important thing is to make sure this is waterproof. Uh, if you're doing any electrical work, make sure that you protect it from the elements and that wa no water can get in. Uh, another interesting thing is that this is, we bought this on Amazon and we were going to use this outdoors because um, it said outdoors on the Amazon page, but we're looking at the label right now. It says, do not use in wet conditions and store or I, I guess use indoor because if it's outdoor, you can probably store outdoors. But so, yeah, there was no chance this was going to be used outdoors, I guess. Um, maybe it was false advertising. So anyway, we're going to uh, work on this. We're going to install it, and then maybe we'll show you what it looks like when it's finally done. And another benefit of this is that it's flat, which means that we can hide it under the door, door jam, so it doesn't look... Hide it under the door frame, so it doesn't look, uh, you know, ugly, like, like that one does. <laughs> Never mind, we're not going to do that, because... Our house address is on the front, and I don't want you guys to see that. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Today I showed you how to convert an outdoor electrical fixture to be used with a plug instead of having to drill a hole or loop it through a pipe in order to connect it to a junction box. I hope I helped you guys. Again, make sure that you go through all the right channels in order to do this. And um, I, again, I hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment. If you like my comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on 9M, especially the videos about DIY. There's tons of videos about doing electrical work on this channel. Um, and I hope you enjoy them. But for now, I'm Ayman, and signing out. Come on.